Hey everybody, Carl Schroof here from Green Sock. Today I want to show you how to use Custom Wiggle to add the perfect amount of shimmy, shiver, and shake to your animations. I'm going to walk you through some of the standard wiggle types that you see here, and I'll also show you how you can achieve an extremely fine-tuned level of control over the amplitude and frequency of the wiggles. By choosing the right wiggle, you can create an animation that says, Hey, look at me! Or one that says, Brr, it's freezing in here. Custom Wiggle is always going to generate this oscillating type of ease curve. But with Custom Wiggle, you have control over how many wiggles are going to occur, the spacing between those wiggles as far as time goes, and also how the amplitude or strength of those wiggles is going to change over time. If you have trouble reading ease and curves, head on over to greensock.com slash custom ease. We have videos and info that gives you all the basics on how to read these types of graphs. If you're comfortable reading ease curves, let me show you how Custom Wiggle can do all the heavy lifting and generate these really cool easing curves for you. Before I get into the API and syntax specifics of Custom Wiggle, I want to explain how it works with Custom Ease, okay? Custom Ease allows us to use the Greensock Ease Visualizer and we can customize or edit any existing ease that GSAP offers. And the way Custom Ease works is that it generates an SVG path string for the ease. So you'll see that as I'm moving this point around, those values change. Now we can create a custom ease with the ease visualizer, or we could even draw them in Illustrator. So for something like a custom wiggle, which might be very hard to, you know, create all those different oscillating ups and downs, we could jump over to Illustrator and try our hand at drawing some curves like this. Now you'd have to be quite a master to get this sort of outcome. And even if you were good at drawing these types of wiggles, imagine you had to do 50 wiggles or 100 wiggles. It would be pretty insane. So I want to show you that, you know, if you are good at Illustrator, you could just select and copy that ease right there. Go back to the green sock ease visualizer. And with a custom ease selected, I could literally paste that SVG into the ease visualizer, click off, and then there you go. You have that complete wiggle path. Now, the Ease Visualizer wasn't really meant to handle values that shoot so far below the starting value here. So even though I could click on these points and edit them and make a wiggle that sort of progressively, you know, dies down, it's really not practical to use the Ease Visualizer for this. So that's why we have Custom Wiggle. It's going to create this SVG path data for us. So here in CodePen, I have a little animation set up that's going to make this ball wiggle five times, all right? Before I get into the actual code that does that, I wanna point out that we're loading two very important files, all right? We're loading both custom ease and custom wiggle. In order to use custom wiggle, you must have custom ease present, okay? In very simple terms, custom wiggle is going to be creating the SVG data that'll be passed off to custom ease, okay? And custom wiggle is just gonna allow us to set different parameters on how that wiggle ease should be created. So now that we got those files loaded, I want to point out this first line of code here where we create our ease. I'm using custom wiggle.create, which is a method that's going to create our ease. And the first parameter is going to be a string name that we're going to use to reference the ease that we're creating. And then we have a vars object here where we're going to specify the number of wiggles that we want. Next up, I have a very simple tween max to tween where we're telling the ball that over the course of four seconds, we're gonna move the X to 300. For the ease, we wanna specify the ease that we just created, which we've given that string name of wiggle, okay? So when I run this, you'll see that we're going to wiggle one, two, three, four, five times, all right? And obviously, if you wanna wiggle more times, you would just change this number. So if you want 10 wiggles, there you go. You change a number. You don't have to spend all day in Illustrator. But there's a number of different features that we can change with Custom Wiggle that it's really going to help if we could see an SVG representation of the curves that we're generating. So what I want to point out is that in our HTML, we actually have an SVG sitting here with an empty path with an ID of ease. And that's where our curve is going to be rendered. So let's go back over to my JavaScript. And I have another little sneaky line of code down here. And what we're doing here is we're calling custom eases get SVG data. And this method is responsible for getting the SVG path data for any ease. And it's configured in a way that it will return that raw string if we want it, or render the curve to an existing SVG path. So we're passing in the name of the ease that we want to render out, the width and height, and then also the ID of the path that we have in an SVG sitting somewhere. 
So by just enabling this one line of code, when I run, you can now see that we have that entire path rendered out for us. So now that we can see the curve, I'm going to show you how we can actually change the amplitude and frequency of the curves, okay? You'll see that by default, without specifying a type for this wiggle, that we start out with fairly large waves here and they progressively get smaller. So top to bottom is referred to as the amplitude of the wave, okay? So let's go up here and now inside of the custom wiggle.create method for the vars properties, I'm going to specify a type. So I'm going to specify uniform, okay? And when I hit run, you'll see now that we have consistent amplitude or uniform amplitude throughout the course of the wave. Um, another type that we can do is an ease in out. And when I hit run, you'll see that the amplitude sort of progressively grows and then gets smaller. Maybe it's more clear if I have, you know, more wiggles. And so now you can see how it gets larger and then smaller, okay? And we also have anticipate. And this one's really cool. Check out what happens with the curve. The ball goes back a little bit in this anticipation, and then you have all these wiggles here, all right? With 50 wiggles in this duration, it looks a little bit rough, but here you'll see we're going back away from the start value, and then we start doing all the wiggles, and then they die down. So I'll run that one more time. Wow. And then you get all that wiggles at the end, okay? Um, we also have random, which is really pretty cool. Every time I run it, it's just going to be going totally crazy all over the place, all right? And if you're wondering, when would you ever use this sort of a random wiggle? Well, here we have this swarm effect that's created by just giving each ball two tweens, one for the X and one for the Y, each having its own random wiggle tween. And you get this really cool kind of organic swarm effect, all right? So there's definitely a lot of different cool ways to use these different types of wiggles. So now that I've shown you a few different types of wiggle eases, I want to show you how you can also have a much higher degree of customization when you're defining your wiggle, all right? So I'm going to get rid of the type here, and I'm going to add a new property here called timing ease. And the timing ease allows us to specify an ease that's going to be used to distribute the timing or space in between each wiggle. So I'm going to start by doing a timing ease of linear.ease none. And let's take a look at what that does, okay? All right, and you'll notice now that we have very consistent spacing in between the peaks of all of these wiggles here, okay? So we have even distribution in the timing. If I switch that over to be something more extreme, like maybe a power four dot ease out, watch what happens. You'll see that we get the timing of the wiggles really bunched up towards the end here, okay? So they're spaced out pretty far and towards the end they get bunched up close together here. If I made that in ease in and hit run, you would get that bunching up at the beginning. Now we also have an amplitude ease. But before I show you the amplitude ease, let me just revert back to linear.ease none just to make it really clear what each one of these does. So we'll do an amplitude ease and I'll also start this with linear dot ease none. Let me put a comma in there. Let me hit run. And so now you'll see that the height or the amplitude of each of these wiggles here goes down in a straight line. Okay. It's totally linear. The rate of change in height that's happening here. But if I change this over to a power four dot ease out, you're going to see them do this, okay? So it's going to be a more drastic change in height towards the end here, okay? So it starts really big, and then we have this gradual power four ease out going in here. So by combining the timing ease and amplitude ease with totally different eases, you can radically change the type of easing curve that you're going to get. And what's even crazier is that you don't need to use one of the canned green sock eases like power four or linear or back or bounce. You can pass in any custom ease as a timing ease and an amplitude ease. And once you start getting into that, you can get some really fine tuned customizations of how the amplitude and timing is spread out on these really crazy wiggle curves.
Now I mentioned earlier that Custom Wiggle's main responsibility is just to take these parameters that we pass in and generate some SVG path data that then gets passed into custom ease. So what I want to do is just illustrate that a little bit further. So we have our ease being created up here and I already am calling custom ease.getSVG data to get the SVG data and populate this path in this SVG. But this function also returns the SVG data that's going to be sent to custom ease. So to show you how this all works, I'm just going to do an alert of whatever this curve puts out. I'm going to run. And now we're going to get this whole slew of SVG path data. I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to jump over to our ease visualizer. I'm going to select the existing path string there and paste in what I just copied and now you'll see that we have all of that ease data inside of the ease visualizer. Now it looks a little bit different because it's scrunched into this one by one aspect ratio of the ease visualizer but it's the exact same data. So hopefully now you can see just exactly how powerful and flexible custom wiggle can be. If you like what custom wiggle can do you're gonna love what custom bounce does. Custom bounce also allows you to set parameters on a bounce ease. You can configure how many times you want your animation to bounce, the strength of the bounce, and you can also specify the squash and stretch that's applied. If you look closely, you're going to notice that this blue ball will squash and stretch as it hits the ground, giving a totally realistic bounce that you can have fine-tuned control over. Both Custom Wiggle and Custom Bounce are available to Club Greensock members. Your Club Greensock membership gives you access to premium plugins that make advanced animations a breeze. Tools like Draw SVG plugin, which allow you to control how SVG strokes are revealed. Going on down the list, let's check out Morph SVG plugin, which allows you to morph SVG paths into other SVG paths, regardless of the number of points. So you can morph a heart into a star, into a thumbs up, with just three lines of code. And of course, as you saw today, Custom Bounce and Custom Wiggle are going to give you insane control over bounces and wiggles. So we urge you to come by greensock.com club to find out more about the Club Greensock benefits. We have an awesome video up top that will run you through some cool things in about 90 seconds. And in case you don't know, you're able to try any plugin for free on CodePen. So test drive them all before you buy. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun and really appreciate the power and control that these Club Greensock plugins give you.